Hello YouTube and welcome to Ontario. I think it's Ontario either way. We're in Canada. We're north of the border and it's time for Hooter <laughs> Series race number six of season number four here. And as you can tell by a little bit of the laughter there, joining me in the booth yet again is Stephen Paw the third. Went from Colorado auto I mean California, now I'm in Canada. I've been home in like two weeks. Well, you were also in Colorado last week. You're yeah. Um <laughs> So, starting grid today, James Qualls will start on the pole alongside Sky Commons because front row is actually having some sort of issue there with the V key and all that. So, good job. Bafod Sacco and Muhammad Zain Abdullah make up row number two. Jerry Shelley will start alongside the defending champion Alex May in row three with Time Pollard and Henry Williams row four. RJ Reynolds, dead last in the points, will start in row number five alongside Sam Young. Here's the rest of your starting grid, and I'll hand it over to Steven for his thoughts on this race. Well, if you've been, if you've been following the DNQ race or some of the races, this is the race I've been looking forward to all season because it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful race that I love watching every year for all the crashes and fans that get ran over. My pick to win the race is going to be the 33 with Jess and Hunter. I forgot the guy's last Braxton. name again. My fault. Braxton, thank you, Charles, starting in the back. Look for him to capitalize, and Steve Paul is not in the race. So don't worry, guys. Yeah, uh, so the joke on that, the last line there, as com here comes command, I'll say it after that, so. Drivers, start your engine. The joke on the Steve Pollard line is the last two races that Steven has joined me for, Steve Pollard has somehow managed to win. So, yeah. Go. <laughs> I doubt we're honestly going to use onboards today just because um, this you is going to be board. hell anyway. Looks like the field's gone rolling. Yes, they have. Okay, well, good. I, I know we we did not put a bumper cam on anybody because that would be uh, like $10,000 in the hole. Yeah, especially with all those hills that we got here. Uh. Yeah. So we'll switch to TV2 here just for the start of this race because I really enjoy this run to the line camera here that this one provides. Either way, uh, pace car is off. And we're set to go. Green flag is out for 50 laps north of the border. And let the shit show start. <laughs> and not unexpectedly, James Qualls will not be able to lead lap number one as Muhammad Zain Abdullah goes for the top spot. Who's going to be the unfortunate person? I think we might have made lap one, did we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Well, oh, let's see. Anybody going to run off the dirt off this corner? It's really easy to overrun it. It quals those. Uh, he somewhat overshot it. Looks like, uh, well, they're, they're overdriving turn three a little bit, but it's working out pretty well. We're two laps in. Hey, how about that? New leader, Alex May, Man, though. it's just that thing. The 11 car is going to go flying off the track. Uh, yeah, someone else had kicked up some dirt back there, too. Uh, there uh someone was off. I think. I think someone went off, Three but Bafode Sacco to the lead. Man, they're racing. Let him race. Uh, Enzo Nereza has found a wall. Man, there, there is so much season that would need. <laughs> James Qualls, Johnny wow. Gardner, trouble. Time Pollard has found the pit lane. Well, well uh, this is not what the plan. This is what our revenge for driving a hot ass pink car. <laughs> Caution uh, flag is out. We, uh, uh, this is not going to work. Oh, well, I cannot explain that one. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> I don't God. think that's what you meant by people were going to die. <laughs> I don't think I meant to predict that. Jerry Shelley has a uh, pit as well, and we're on 2x. I think that's why we're pitting. And we're going to need a lot of uh, digesting to figure <laughs> out what... Uh, so we'll watch pit stops, and then we'll go back and take a look at what happened here. Two tires for Bafod Sacco, and some drivers Bafod did Sacco. not pit. Yeah, that's the guy's name. <laughs> Preston Plort is the race leader. Let's take a look back at what happened in the early going here. And we are back. Here's what happened uh, with James Qualls and Enzo Nereza. 
we're going to start with Qualls, and then we'll show you a little bit of what happened to Nereza to get his start uh, going on this. You'll see Qualls goes off, and then there's just not much grip out there at all. There is a little bit. Uh, and right there, James Qualls is screaming on the radio, Holy shit, I'm flying! <laughs> Mom. Johnny Gardner also goes off a little bit there, but be honest, they've done a l good job at actually making sure that they can get some grip out there. I'm surprised this didn't bring out a caution. I mean, we've seen them fly off there a lot worse than that. I think Time Paul got turned into what well, I think happened to him. We saw him flying off in the dirt in the background. Well, in the pit lane. Uh, actually, he that he's still on track here, so the incident with him didn't happen there. A little bit of contact there for Nereza, though, with Zach Flickinger, who was fourth in points coming in. We didn't get Wee! to mention that. Uh, and, yeah, Nereza not doing so odd in the points coming in 35th and just makes another rookie mistake there for him. Was able to continue, though, which is, again, not something we've been able to really say a whole lot about three unit usually. <laughs> well, it looks like we had a lot, a lot of ret retaliation shots at Colorado. I don't know if that was the same thing here, but he failed. <laughs> now, he's trying to see what happened. There's time Pollard out wide again, so trying to figure uh, out. It's the pink. Oh. It's the, it's the pink, Charles. Well, apparently one lap later, something with the Dish Network cars made it to where they didn't want to stay on track. <laughs> oh, the single went bad. Uh, apparently, because R.J. Reynolds goes off track as well, and just like with James Qualls before him, actually keeps all four wheels on the ground, though, but just a casual little bump and keeps it going. And then, uh, uh, this is, I mean, I didn't mean to foreshadow death like this. I, everybody's going to need some new air guns. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> yeah, a little more than air guns. Now, now let's see if we can see it through the remember. dirt oh here. <laughs> oh, there it is. Samet Oscon, the 15, is going to turn Pollard around. You know, I think that might be revenge because I call, call him Ozzy Oz. I have to get confirmation on that. <laughs> uh, takes out Kyle. He actually ah. he spared Brad Coleman's crew there, uh, a.k.a. Jack James for this series. And then we just decided to duke some half of it. Now, I'm guessing this is... I'm guessing this was the reason for the caution right here. 63 is going to go off, Man, as well as the 38. We're still wondering what the Glock is. I'm assuming that's what it was for. I mean, the caution's already out there. Just, just, you know, guys, this race is going to be an hour long. Well, we'll see if that was what the caution was for. I think... It, if anything, I think what it probably ended up being is just for debris because of how many incidents we had over there. Okay, so caution's out there. Well, it brought maybe for time Pollard. Because I don't see anybody yeah, off the track. That's... Yeah, it's going to be for time Pollard spinning. I mean, it's kind of hard to see when there's a when there's a uh, sandstorm in the middle of Ontario. Well, we also can see you. You can kind of see the flagman there getting ready to wave the uh, red flag for pit lane closing. I think he was actually running for his life, not putting the flag out. <laughs> is that what you think? Either way, that is what happened there. We'll go back to the green flag here. Preston Plored is your race leader. I love it. Well, we are back. Alja Baranowski is a lot down, and Charles Sanford has retired. Top 10 on this restart is going to be Preston Plored, Chris Louvier, Oriol Pollard, Stephen Pollard III, uh, Zachary Fitzwater, uh, 27, still getting used to some of the names, William Flickinger, Jack James, Hunter Braxton, Jessica Shelton, and Mary Shelley. What was that about starting in the back and not being able to get a good run? Yeah, exactly. Man, Charles, you're having a run year so far in the Hooters and the Cup Series. <laughs> Not really worried about that one. We made our Final Four last year. We're good. And well, Kev, the series is not rigged. Baranowskis is going to be way off the pace in the 20. And here comes the 27, who is, I'm going to see on the board, William Flickinger. And Luvier and Plort are off in the grass. And we've didn't even make it a goddamn... Oh, still green. 
Despite the fact that Plort's car is needing a tow. Well, oh, it's gonna lead to another argument. Oh god, the Dish Network cars. So, no caution for that. So, apparently, all of our years, or all of the times where we've had many cautions, was not because the cars hit the wall, apparently. Whoa! 27 flicking trying to push it a little too hard. Here comes Jess. Yep, our top two in the points. We're running 1-2 there for a moment. Amanda Shelley now to second, and Shelton will get five bonus points for leading a lap. Worth mentioning the gap. Now remember... Oh, I was going to say, boys, worth mentioning the gap coming in was 40 points as Hunter Braxton goes out wide. And re Caution is remember, out. the 42 of the two, two started in the 40s. Uh, and it might have been for the 91, I believe. Uh, they, st they start in park. <laughs> There's, oh, Johnny Gardner also on pit lane. Hello! Oh, damn it. And apparently Amanda Shelley got to the lead through all of that. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and take a look back at what happened to bring out the yellow. Um, we're not going to show every single car that goes off because just me and Steven can tell you from experience that's just going to happen all race long. And we'll be sitting here for an hour. Basically. And we are back. This is the... Uh, best of my ability being able to figure out what happened because no one was actually spinning at the exact time of yellow but Chris Washer had just gone off of this corner right and been towed just before the yellow came out so quite possibly just too much debris from cars hitting this wall right here as you see the debris fly off the 91 there Johnny Gardner comes in as well thinking hey I've hit this wall once why not hit it a second time <laughs> well I think the 91 ran out of tires uh, that might be. And Pollard just pit only just randomly. Well, oh, wait. No, you'd hit the wall the lap prior. And you know what's happening right here? Jesus, take them. Don't sing. Just don't sing. <laughs> don't sing. <laughs> you know what? Jesus took the wheel and my voice. Uh, yeah, that was... Jesus took the... Jesus took your voice because of... Just it's better for everyone. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we're going back to reflag. Yeah, way. we're gonna be going back to restart. I have no clue who's gonna be the exact leader here, just because. And I just noticed that there's a pit stall inside of a hauler. Well, that's pretty impressive. And we are back. Preston Plore, Chris Louvier, Stephen Paul the third, Johnny Gardner, and Chris Washer join the list of retirees now. Uh, Amanda Shelley is the race leader, Jessica Shelton, William Flickinger, Tim Randolph, Samet Oscon, Paul Swanson, Buffett Sacco, Zach Flickinger, Hunter Braxton, and Jack James, the top 10. Kev Shear, we'll just mention him because he's there, 11th. Didn't it, uh, Paul Swanson run the old three truck last season? Uh, yes. Uh, basically he's been a Jermaine driver in his entire career, so. So far, at least. Yep. Green flag back out. No, not yet. Not yet. Now it is on lap number 18 complete. Lap 19 on the board. It's going to be very interesting to see who gets the start here because there will be a caution for two laps. they got to capitalize on it. Uh, Yeah, Baranowskis now at least has a reason to be off the pace. There's some damage now to the right side of that car. Whoa, I just the lead. Uh, yeah, put the two back out in front. Remember, five bonus points for leading the most laps if Shelton can do so. Uh, I have no way of knowing who's actually led the most laps so far. Uh, there's been a lot of leaders, and now uh, 36 coming back. Looks like a lot of crossovers here. Uh, hey, that's just part of three unit, isn't it? <laughs> yep, and the Rex. That too, yeah. William Flickinger now going to take oh, his yeah. turn, and that's Tim Randolph, is, that's oh, going to be a pit wall. Oh. Hello. Well, that's speeding on pit road. <laughs> that could have ended a whole lot worse. Uh, uh, yeah, that could have been the pit wall and half the field. So, Shelly now in second. Hey, how about Zach Flickinger and caution flag flies yet again as William Brock. 
William Flickinger oh. now leads. Please. Sorry, you were going to say? No, I was just saying, uh... No, I wasn't saying anything. Okay. Well, on the bright side, we haven't seen the 150 mile an hour pace car yet this week. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> well, um, Brett Bo Bodine is not driving pace car, guys. RJ Reynolds on pit lane, and Jack James also on pit lane as well. Looks like he's found the wall. I'm telling you, time Paul, it's up to 12 to 15. <laughs> <laughs> if Paul wins, it's going to be the greatest comeback in history. Oh, well, hey, we'll go ahead and take a look back and see if we can't find what happened to bring out the yellow this time. And we are back, and the mystery of cautions continues. This is my best guess for what brought out the caution. Probably, again, debris. Um, but Kyle Matthews is going to go off. You see the dirt there kicked up from someone else. A little bit of, wheel, of air time there for Kyle. It's going to hit the wall and then be joined by William Brock. Bam. And there's the answer for who the other one was. Jack James. Hard into the wall, so just overdriving it. And that's going to be day Maybe over for the 18. Too. Did the 06 was able to continue or did he DNF? Uh, well, the 06 did continue after having to make a pit stop. Oh. So. I'm... I'm amazed the old sister heat wall. Well, I mean, he got away with it very much. He just—he only brushed the wall, basically. He or he clobbered the wall, but it was at least the inside of it. He didn't clobber it straight on. Yeah, that's true. Cause that was a hard hit. So Tim Randolph thinking his lucky stars, uh, and we'll go back to the restart. And we are back. Jack James, R.J. Reynolds, and William Brock now out of the race. Oreo Pollard is now two laps down. William Flickinger leads over Samet Ozcon, Amanda Shelley, Jessica Shelton, Hunter Braxton. Wait for those guys there to pass. Are. Zach Flickinger, Sky Commons, Buffod Sacco, Alexander Rowe, and Muhammad Zain Abdullah, the top ten. Muhammad's pretty much running his cup scheme with just the one on the side and the, spin and the uh, Hooters logo's on it. <laughs> True, yeah. Uh, and worth mentioning, we've got a lot of the guys who are top of the points still up here, although William Brock will take a hit now with, uh, he was fifth in points coming in. Ouch. And that's going to be his first DNF of the year, too, actually, so. Double ouch. Green flag's back out. 27 laps complete of the AAA 500. Or 300. 300. Thank you. I was thinking a cup, which is a 500. Only four wide, and hello, and... Oh, that wasn't going to work. Oh, no, oh, and no, off the hill. Go up, up the banking. Just and get back to 52. Saves it. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, well, Zane Adula is, uh, this... Yeah, that's another caution. Yeah, that's actually the first legit caution I think we've had all race. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he didn't block. So, 4Y does not work at this track. Let's make sure everyone files that away for later. Uh, we want to make it very good points to Sherlock Charles Sanford, and I'm Watson. <laughs> There's the running order, though, underneath the caution. What?! <laughs> that car was just on the embankment! <laughs> and I guess we're going to have Charles take his amazement pills after this. Okay, let's go ahead and take you back to see what happened as Muhammad Zain Abdullah retires from the race. And we're back. We saw it happen a little bit in the behind part of the screen here. But this is going to start Whoa. with Alexander Rowe, make some contact with Baranowskis, and then it's off from there. Well, the 20 was so damn slow and it caused this mess. And then it's letting Jesus take the wheel again. Except well, Zain Abdullah just ends up being a balance Zane's beam. And then Zane Zula is going to have to go to Larkin Autos. We sell auto parts. <laughs> Flickinger ends up on the embankment as well. And let's see how Pollard did on getting back out onto the track. Well, we can't afford a backup like the 91, so we can't hit the wall. He says as he hit the wall. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so that was this incident. Baranowskis gets another piece of one, so more damage to the 20. 
The side note, we are in Canada because I just saw the Canadian flag. Oh, yeah, we're... I'm pretty sure this is Larkinville, Ontario is where it's at. I know it's Larkinville and somewhere in Canada, but... Either way, let's go ahead and get back to the restart. And we are back. Only retiree from that instant was Mohamed Zain Abdullah. William Flickinger is still the leader. Samet Ozkan second. Amanda Shelley third. Braxton fourth. Zach Flickinger in fifth. Shelton sixth. Commons, Rowe, Sacco, and Mary Shelley, the top ten. Okay, uh, so what mess does Pollard cause this time? Uh, thanks, Charles. Anyways, more lap traffic is going to be slow in the way, so look for another four-wide wreck. Uh, let's hope not. Uh, let's hope they learn their lesson. <laughs> um, either way, fields off turn number four. Are they going to go to the big... And we're back racing on lap 34. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It cut out there for you. I said, are they going to go to the big quarter truck? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I don't know if we had that type of a budget. <laughs> Yeah. We couldn't even afford an onboard camera. Well, those get paid for us. That, that, that People pay us to put those on there, so. Uh, as here oh. comes, man, what a comeback. Oh, no. Oh, and, and, hello. Oh, get... oh, oh, no. God. oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. This is... oh. Someone's oh, over the hill. I believe that was Baranowskis over the hill. <laughs> well, we fucked. Rid of the slowest car on track. And so we, that just happened. Well, that was interesting, and we got almost nobody left now. <laughs> oh! Well. <laughs> well, we killed the whole crew members. Now we're killing everybody in the stands. What is this Hooters series? <laughs> Why? While I'm watching live murder on YouTube, you're going to have to put this 18 plus. Charles, this is not going to get censored. Okay, uh, let's go take a look back at what happened there. And we are Let back. Here's what happened to bring out the caution. Before well, Sacco makes contact with like the 52. And well, then I the cars would be in the way. and didn't protect my drivers to take up the route. Well, and then this just became chaos as Sheila Shear's going to have nowhere to go. Right up into Baranowskis and that's going to send Baranowskis flying. Henry Williams gets sent up the track. Kev Shear just gets clipped. Henry, or uh, PJ Williams, there's Qualls hitting his teammate. Tim Randolph is in it. So we've got four of the Roush cars. Paul Swanson gets turned Can around we see by... Can the 21? Uh, well, well, we'll check in on that one. Alex May gets involved. <laughs> Kyle Matthews, Enzo Norezza involved as well. Everybody that wasn't in the top 10 got involved. Uh, we're trying to get a good camera angle, and we just we don't have one, but there's Baranowskis' car. Uh, and then... We're actually going to show hours. you what happened. Well, he, he, just, he was trying to get out of the way, and the, oh my, I think he flipped. <laughs> um... I think the I, I think the only way we're gonna know is if this was caught on the Goodyear blimp, and we're hearing this might have been. So uh, we'll we'll check. And actually, I just realized we need to pause this so that we don't miss the restart. Uh, uh, well, there goes the Tim Hortons billboard. Actually, it would have been the uh, Crazies billboard, <laughs> but he didn't go flipping. <laughs> I'm surprised that he decided to kill all the fans. Uh, yeah, so this, we, we've seen this scene before. This, this, we've seen. Uh, uh, where's the, you know, this is really bad because the day we're recording this. Well, to be fair, he's not hitting many people there, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at least the last time this uh, happened, they drove... At least the last time this happened, they drove under the stands, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Just, it's like 34 in season one. Yeah, so that's what happened there. Let's go ahead and take you back to the restart. <laughs> and we are back. William Flickinger is the race leader. James Qualls, Henry Williams, Max Anderson. Uh, 
Tim Randolph, Sam Young, Alger Baranowskis, and Oriel Pollard all out of the race due to that last incident. Amanda Shelley, Zach Flickinger, Hunter Braxton, Jessica Shelton, top five, Ozcon, Commons, Rowe, Mary Shelley, and Ace Rogers, the top ten, and apparently we're going single file restart because Isaac Flickinger is a lap down. We're going to be going ten to go this time by. Yeah, we're probably going to have a green white check. Eh, we'll see. Depends how many laps we complete here. Plus, this is going to be our uh, first single nice. file restart of the race, so. True, yeah. So now we're going to get the green flag. Uh, I'm going to watch out maybe for Braxton or Jessica because they really want to try to pull away the gap. Well, I think they would take a top five considering all the craziness that's happened. Amanda Shelley looking for that second win on the season, though. First repeat driver. Would be. As now the Flickingers are going to battle for second. And I'm... I'm glad that we've been able to get some moderate green flag runs in because the last times we came here, this, there wasn't any. Well, it's, it's been entertaining as hell. Oh, Shelly! Nice save. Yep, Here Zach Flickinger like now to the lead. And yep, Shelton now to the second, actually. Not to the lead. Whoa, as... everybody on the dirt. Yep, that was Sky Commons back there. Braxton's now going to be in the middle. Oh, no. And staggered three wide there as Shelton now goes for the race lead. Like I said. And we'll get it. Braxton yes. puts two wheels off. Braxton's pushing it, man. At least trying to. Alexander Rowe's going to get to the inside of the 42 car. Someone's hit the wall and is out of the race. Trying to find who it would be, and got no way of knowing. Might have been Flickinger. Good, he's a lap down. As now, Whoa. Zach Flickinger goes back to the race lead. Worth mentioning, Isaac Flickinger was only running this one race. He didn't attempt the cup race because he's only running the uh, non-COT races. Yes. As Mary Whoa. Shelley puts all four wheels off almost, I think. Worth mentioning, Shelton also oh, looking for her second win. Somehow we've done six green flag laps. I think that's because we're down under 30 cars running and no lap cars, basically. It's <laughs> Jerry Shelley now to third. Battle for the top spot between Shelton and Flickinger, and we might have lap cars. Well, there goes that run. As Bafod Sacco is off the pace. Braxton! Oh, God. Well, that's a caution. I think it is. Where's the pace? Yep, there's the pace car right there. And that's going to be a green-white checkered. Now, if the 42 can finish the race, part nine is not finishing the race. No, he's not. Going to show this just to confirm, because cars have to be running and on the lead lap. And there it is. So Hunter Braxton out of the race as now... Alexander Rowe pits. And he's out. Man, we're going to have a sh short feel for this thing. Yeah, it looks like only 20 cars are going to be running as Bafode Sacco was somehow still on the lead lap. Uh, Fields taking the white there, which that's not the actual white, so ignore that. We will go green-white checkered and figure out uh, who we've got running. We'll also take a look at the... Uh, cause of the caution there with Hunter Braxton and we'll get everything sorted here for the green white checkered and we're back here was what happened to Braxton to send him so far back just gets too far out so he's gonna hit the wall there and actually keep it going where's my DW quote do it to me one more time one time is never enough oh my god and then the very next lap, Hunter Braxton going to go off again, and this time makes more significant contact. And I'm still trying to figure out how he spun. Well, he's doing the Larson. Oh, that's how. Damn moms. Wow. And that wasn't <laughs> even the reason for the caution there. Unless we're really late on getting these cautions out. Nope. Uh, well, we do we underpaid the officials, so. 
Well, this is what the caution was actually out for. It was for Alexander Rowe hitting the wall. And his car actually does somewhat go back out there in a dangerous way. Somewhat. Anyway, that would be what actually put Alexander Rowe out of the race then as well. So, with that, we're going to have a 20-car shootout here for two laps around three unit. No cautions either. Get ready for death. Uh, most likely. Last time we had a green white checkered here, we actually had a side-by-side -side photo finish that was separated by just seven thousandths of a second. Same thing for the DMQ race last year. And we are well, back for two laps here of I'll, the green-white yes. checkered, and yeah, most likely we'll see. Although, then again, they made it two laps in the original without actually having a caution, so... I'm going with the 33. <laughs> Green flag is out, and Jessica Shelton leads us down. Probably going to be the points leader regardless, so maybe just going to take it a little bit easier here, not force anything. Especially if Jerry Shelly is going to throw it in there like that. And here comes the 15. Yep, Ozcon's in there. They're going to be three wide, and the white flag is out. How about Kev? Here comes Sheer, too. Fitzwater might throw it in there, I think. Going to have one shot at it. The 15. One shot it. It's a 33 gets in the grass. Side by side. Side by side again, and oh, wow. Oh, he got it. Oh, what a finish. Well, the green-white checker didn't disappoint again. Wow, I thought the 33 got it. Man, the power on die. Okay, Have then. Have you ever? Uh, in this series, no, we've never. Oh, my lord, what a finish. Samed Ozcon and Jerry Shelley tied to the thousandth. I thought the 33 got at the stripe, but that 15, oh, what a hell of a run off the court. Jesus. And Zach Flickinger and Jessica, 19th to 20th. Ouch. See, right here, when you get to this camera, I thought the 33 had the momentum, but the 15 just held on. Barely. Oh, my Lord, what a finish. I'm just trying to get a good camera angle here. The 33 looks like he's ahead. You know what was funny? You look at who they click on. If I click V once to go forward, it is going to Shelly. So I, I, it, like Shelly won to me, but I don't know. I'm not the NR people. The problem is, I can't argue with it either. They gave it to Ozcon, but, I mean, through the camera work, it almost, when we scrutinize it, it almost looks like it was Shelly. It looks like Shelly got the better run, but I, we're going to have to keep doing a little review here, but I, I think the 33 won, to be honest with you. Uh, well, the problem is, how much do we really want to try and override that one? Plus, if we look through the rest of the field, I'm just wanting to see, okay, that was the only tie. But I think Shelton, well, that might not be good enough then for the points lead for 19th. That might, that, either way though, I mean, still going to gain ground though. This, this, this is just like the Gabe William finish at Bristol. Well, except that one was more controversial, I guess, in aspects. But <laughs> either way, a dead tie. So. <laughs> we can look at it one more more time but well I mean, that's gonna be the uh to that's gonna be the so. cover photo most likely if i can find the good enough camera angle that's gonna be the group photo on facebook <laughs> for at least a little bit um while we go ahead and so, rewind it back so i can get the photo at some point after here uh steven your final thoughts um one we should leave the uh, audience with a, de a declared winner but if not we'll just put it like the season two race it was a crazy race um I kind of figured it'd be crazy. It's through my favorite race. Uh, it did not disappoint, and I will be back next season for sure at this track because I love this racetrack. 
so congrats. As you, <laughs> as you see right here, it looks like the 33's nose is ahead, but I mean, I'm not, I'm just the uh, person from uh, work. Uh, same here. I'm not an official either, so I know what it looks like, but I mean, obviously, I can't override them. Congrats to Semed Ozcon on winning what will always be the closest finish. And even if we get another tie, he still manages to be able to say that he won the first tie in the series. I'd like to thank Stephen for joining me once again. Uh, tomorrow he'll be here with us for the uh, cup race as we got another race from this exact same track. Hopefully we don't kill people again. Hopefully we have a tie. That would be insane. Um... Like I said, congrats to Ozcon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't today. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Well, for once we actually had a little bit of post-race because um, we noticed this one afterwards. This is why Shelton finished back in 19th and why Flickinger was going to finish down 20th. Jessica Shelton goes off the course on the final lap as well as Zach Flickinger behind. And that is the reason why they finished as far back as they did. So, at least we figured out that mystery as well. Uh, and yeah. with that, now we will officially bid adieu for this race.